All right, guys, hope you guys are all doing well. It's been a long time coming, but we're finally over in Queensland, and, well, today is episode number one of this Queensland series. I'm out here with my mate Wade today from Offshore Tales. You might have seen him on YouTube or TikTok or Instagram or any of that. So we've got a pretty epic day in store, and the mission today is to try and catch a big buck mud crab. So I haven't really done too much of this, but Wade is taking me to his secret spot, and we're going to get right into it. That right there, guys, is exactly what we're looking for. What is it? Right in the open, too. Just a little muddy. So we found that one, guys. And there's literally just one under this tree. I'll show you what we're looking for, what we're dealing with. They're so camouflage. They that just could, hide under those roots. One. That could be a good one. This one looks pretty small. Your honey hole is providing, mate. Yeah, could be on here. All right, guys, so here is our first little mud crab of the day. Now, if you haven't noticed, we've been walking through these really, really dense mangroves, and you actually find these things Hiding in the mangroves, there's one right there I'll show you guys in a sec, but they're so camouflaged. These little guys will often sit in little puddles like this or under roots just so they can take refuge and actually get out the way of all the elements. Now, this is a perfect little example, and by the looks of it, he's actually lost his left nipper, so it should make it very, very easy to grab. Oh, good pin, mate. As you guys can see, Jamie's gone for the pin technique. That's just because he's got one claw. It's because he's got one nipper. Oh, and there goes the other nipper. It's obviously a soft crab. That nip has just come off, unfortunately. That's not These good. things do grow back, guys. So it's not going to matter too much. That thing came off so easy, it should yeah. come off like that. I've just let that little crab back, and you guys probably think that it looks pretty harsh that the claw actually just fell off. Now, you guys saw how soft it is, and if you look inside, there's a lot of water, which means that it was probably in a fight or maybe um, breeding or molting or something like that. But there's a female crab just over there, so. Who knows what could have been happening really, but lucky enough, he'll go live another day, grow a new claw, and he'll be all good. So he'll just, I think he's just hiding under those little mangroves there, and he'll be sweet. But it's unfortunate, but that's just what happens, nature. That's it, mate. Perfect spot for you. See you later. Now it's your turn, Wado. Yep. Get into it. Get him out into the open, and then I'll go for the pin technique, eh? This guy's definitely got two claws. Can't tell if it's male or female. Thinking a big female, you can just tell with the females, usually they got the smaller nippers and their bodies are quite big. So, tell as you get them out. You can see Wado's just using a stick just to pin it down now. I'll come around back here. Get another angle. Get him out of here. There we go. Go for the pin. There you go, pin and then. Yeah. That's it. It's all confidence. <laughs> That's what it is right there. Perfect. That's a female, I can just tell by its body, yeah. As you can tell, that right there, that holds all the eggs. You can see, look how big its body is, really wide, and its claws are tiny. See you later, little lady. All right, nice work, mate. These mangroves are so wild, it's just so dense, and there's a whole different uh, audience of life audience I don't think that's the right word but there's just a whole different uh, ball game of species in here from bird life to little fish to little crustaceans all over the floor and it's just like a big uh, nesting ground for so many species and it's just so important that we keep this here all right so we just came out into the open I found Wado just Playing with this little mushroom here who's just sort of touching it and having a look and we're wondering if you could actually eat it anyway i downloaded this app um that identifies the mushrooms and <laughs> i'll show you guys what it says <laughs> blushing bracket cannot be used as any basis for eating or touching what do you reckon mate most things blush when they see me so. <laughs> <laughs> i'll tell you what if he drops dead i'm leaving him out nah, i was like on the verge of about to pick it off and just like try a little nude <laughs> and then just keep walking i would just pass it out in the mangroves oh. never to be found again what an idiot let's keep going <laughs> i don't know what you lead me to wado but they lead told me you, lead you to the holy land mate <laughs> mate they told me when i come to the gold coast i got to try and avoid getting crabs and here we are out in the mangroves trying to find them. Most people succeed at that, mate. You, you just don't bloody <laughs> keep your hands off and tell you. But serious chat, so usually you'd find these mud crabs um, just below the tide line, is that right? 
Yeah, well, you go on low tides and they're, you know, out in the open, you can see them a lot better on the, these mud flats here on the high tide, they'll just fill in with water and it's so hard to spot them, so. So, we're in the right territory, but um, we just gotta try and find that big buck. It hasn't been too long though, so we'll keep going. Creek system here. Usually if we follow these streams up, I've had heaps of luck. Just like the mangroves and the edges of these streams. I don't know whether the crabs come in here and feed, you know, on these streams when the water flows in and out, the tides, but yeah, usually it's a pretty good spot. So I reckon we check along this edge and that edge and just make our way up. I talked up the big game and I told Wade that I'd put my hand down one of these holes and I wasn't actually too scared and I wanted to really do it. But now it's a bit nerve wracking because we've dealt with those other ones and they're just so strong and they'd pack a serious punch I reckon <laughs> if it was to get me but this oh. is gonna be the hole here so brace yourselves guys. Sit back and enjoy if I do get whacked. She's going in. That's the end of the hole there. Corner. Good corner. Right, that's the end of the hole. Nothing. No. No, that's the end of the hole. Boy. <laughs> My heart was pumping. <laughs> <laughs> what oh. is what are we doing? Oh. <laughs> well, we've put in the time and we haven't really been able to find that big buck. There was a few little ones around and it was actually a pretty good day. It's really good experience for me as well just to walk through these mangroves and you see some pretty incredible stuff and obviously hang out with Wado all the way in Queensland and well it's just such a good way to start off this trip. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you go follow Wade in the description below. Go check out what he gets up to and well Hope you guys are keen for the upcoming series. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.